Kevin, good to see you. We had some bearers of good news today. You have Best Buy with a beat, American Eagle with a beat, Abercrombie & Fitch with a beat. Their shares are responding as though Santa is going to deliver more gifts. What are they doing right? <laughs> well, let's start with retail sales. As we know, Contessa, retail sales grew by 1.3% in October, exceeding estimates. And retailers across the board in terms of Q3 earnings have done better than many anticipated. However, it appears as though the consumer is now putting more in their credit cards and dipping more into their personal savings to help create up, keep up with these inflated prices. Just consider these two stats. In the third quarter, the total amount of credit card debt rose by 15% versus the third quarter of last year. That's the fastest rate of annual growth in over 20 years. In addition, the personal savings rate in our country has dipped to 3.7 percent, the lowest it's been since 2008, and roughly half of what it was prior to the start of the pandemic. So the question remains, beyond this holiday shopping season, which I do believe will be relatively good for retailers, how much longer can consumers it, continue to spend? How much of that goodness for retailers is that prices are higher and so their gross sales are going to be greater, uh, even though they may actually... Uh, buyers, shoppers may buy less but spend more. It's, it's a great question. But if you look to some of the recent earnings reports, Tyler, you saw that Walmart beat on their top line and their bottom line. Lowe's beat on their top and their bottom line. In fact, Lowe's, which is a retailer, as we know, of home shopping supplies, beat for the 14th consecutive quarters. There's an area that I think is prime for opportunity, given that mortgage rates are now above 7 percent and Americans are less likely now to buy or sell new homes and probably more likely to fix up their existing homes, given those inflated wholesale prices. So it really then becomes a question of what consumers are looking for this holiday shopping season. Mm -hmm. And it appears as though they want value and convenience. And where better to turn for value and convenience than retailers such as Walmart and Amazon? Okay, who else? You, you've said Walmart now a lot of times. They get associated with value a lot. Amazon, of course. Is there any other retailer that you think really could have some steam through the holiday season and into the beginning of 2023? Good question, Contessa. And any retailer that has an online footprint to complement their in-store sales, that fits right into the convenience aspect of what consumers are looking for to help stave off these inflated prices and also shop from the convenience of their home. Target has been expanding their online footprint, but they have so many internal inventory management issues, I think it's going to be difficult for them to come out on top even after this robust holiday shopping season. Walmart has been very efficient in expanding their online footprint. And I really do believe that Amazon is going to be the primary benefactor of this holiday shopping season. And they certainly need it after how far their stock has pulled back thus far this year. Kevin, I'm curious how much you're factoring in what's known in the retail industry as shrink, which is shoplifting. We've heard from the National Retail Federation saying it's not just casual shoplifting like teenagers going in and snatching something, that, but that organized crime is behind it. I'm seeing estimates here that it's costing retailers nearly $100 billion a year. Does that factor into your outlook? It, it absolutely does. And that's why we're looking to at those retailers that, again, have that online presence. Act shoplifting continues to increase, and the amount of items that are getting stolen continue to increase, especially in the total dollar amount of those items that are being taken. So look for those retailers that have that online footprint. Look for those retailers that are able to provide good value. And also look at the inventory levels of these different retailers. We learned from Target last week that, in fact, going forward, they're going to look to focus less on consumer discretionary items and more on consumer staples items, hmm. fearing that the recession is going to get worse in the months ahead in 2023. So I think it's a question of which retailers and also how much of an online footprint they do have, Contessa.